Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Oxon Files. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to write a program for your calculator that will calculate the length of an arc and also the area of a sector. So let me demonstrate it for you here. So let's click Execute and click Enter. And it will ask you if you want to calculate the length of an arc or the area of a sector. So let's go with the first option and click Arc Length. It'll ask you for the radius, which I'll put as 3, and it'll ask you for the central angle, and I'll say that is 68. Okay, so the length it'll show as 3.56. You can look up here for verification. And we click, and uh, I'll show you how the area of a sector works. Let's click this, click enter, 2, and the radius. Let's use the same circle, or same sector. Let's, um, the radius is 3 and central angle is 68. So it'll show the area as 5.34. Again, you can look up here. Okay, so let's get started on how to actually program this. As always, be sure to check the key press history down here. And let's get started. So we scroll over and click create new. And let's name this, uh, arc and then sect for sector okay so first we click program scroll over and click 8 for clear home and this clears your calculator and then click enter click program and then scroll all the way down and press menu for this menu and we can put our alpha locks on then click the quotation marks and say calculate calculate and then end the quotation marks comma and then we can put alpha lock on again and we'll say arc length arc length and then and the quotation marks click alpha to turn off the alpha lock press comma and then press a one and then comma again and we'll repeat this only this time we'll put a uh, sector area so sector area okay so end the quotes and then Turn off alpha lock, press comma, and then click 2, and end the parentheses. Okay, so let's click enter, click program, and click 9 for label. And this we'll name this label 1, and in this we're going to put in the code for the arc length. So let's click enter. So what we have to do first is ask the user for input. So let's do that. Input and then put on the alpha lock for convenience input a uh, radius radius and then we can put a colon and the quotes and we'll store this as the variable a and then again we have to click do this again and this time ask for the central angle so input central angle Central angle. Okay, and then colon end the quotes, and then we'll store this as the variable b. Okay, and then let's click enter. And as you know, the formula for an, for the arc length of the circle is two pi r times uh, times the central angle over 360 so we'll input that into our calculator so first we have 2 times pi times r which is radius in this case a 2 times pi times a and then um, multiplied by the central angle over 360 or in this case b divided by 360 Okay, so we can store this operation as the variable C. Okay, let's click enter, 
click program, scroll over to I slash O, and then press 3 for disp or display, and uh, we will display that the text that arc length arc length and then colon and the quotes arc length and then uh, press enter and then click program scroll over and press 3 again and this time we'll display the variable C this will display the arc length okay so click we have to click enter here click program and scroll down all the way um, till you get to stop then press stop and now we can get started on the writing the uh, form writing the code for the sector area so click enter again and this time click program and press 9 for label and label 2 for sector area so again we have to ask for input so we scroll over to I slash O and ask for input so let's ask for the radius radius um, colon and quotes comma and we'll store this as the variable D and then again we have to click program and uh, scroll over to I slash O and ask for input again and this time we're asking for the central angle so central angle okay and we'll store this as the variable E okay so the formula for uh, calculating the the area of a sector is the quantity of E over 360 the central angle over 360 times pi r squared which is the area of a circle so we have to put that into our calculators so let's get started click parentheses and press E over 360 and then we have to multiply this by the formula for the area of a circle so times times pi r squared it's times pi times r squared or in this case d squared or, whoops, d squared no sorry d squared okay so let's click enter and we have to display so scroll over and press 3 for disp and we'll display sector area this time so put on the alpha lock and press sector area type in sector area sector area okay and click a um, colon and then end the quotes and then press enter again and then we have to display this time the variable the variable f which here we have to store this operation as the variable f okay so let's display the variable f and click program once again and scroll over and then press stop and we're done so here let's verify that our program works click program and we programmed arcsect so press 2 and calculate it'll ask for the arc length or the sector area so let's calculate the arc length first let's say the radius is 6 and the central angle let's put that as 90 arc length is 9.424 and I've included a verification from a uh, from an actual arc length calculator and let's try this with our sector area so program arc sect and sector area so let's say the radius this time let's put it as something crazy about 39 and then click enter and the central angle this time can be 100 and 
43. It will display the sector area as this. Okay, that's all for this video, and be sure to check out our previous videos, and also be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content in the future. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.